What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video and I'm starting the video a little bit earlier than I usually am but that's because as you can tell by the title of today's video we have quite a few things we need to do with the car and it's starting out with these tires right here. These are my rear tires. We're uh, moving on the new tires because these treads look kind of good and they're going to grip kind of tight but as you can see I have another XXR rim right here and that's because one of my front rims actually broke on the genesis the thing has a little micro crack in it and i didn't want to take any chances because louisiana roads they can just mess over your car and so i need to load these up and get these good to go in the car so we can take them to firestone to get that put on the car with the front wheels that are already on there and get these rear wheels installed because my tread on the car is not in good shape but let me go ahead and get these loaded up so we can get on the road I need another knife. You see, it ain't supposed to take me more than twice, I mean, more than once, man. Look at that. Hey, hey, hey. I just need another knife. All right, so while she's going to put gas in her car, I'm going to finish telling y'all a little bit about today's video. But I just loaded these tires up, and let me show y'all these right here. If you look at the tread on these, it's actually kind of dull or kind of flat. But I don't know. I don't know if y'all could tell. Y'all probably can't tell, but they are. They are kind of dull. And so while I'm working on solving that, oh yeah, I need to put a picture on the screen right now of this wheel. This is the one that I'm changing out. It's cracked along the inside. Y'all can't see that from the outside, but that causes the tire to go flat like within a week or so. It goes flat, so every week I have to put more air in it. And I'm kind of bummed out about that. But then there's this. I need to fix this bumper of mine because this part is broken. But not only that, but as you can see, it's tearing. Like the bracket is tearing off of the bumper and that's causing my bumper to hang a little bit. I hope you can notice that because I notice it every day I drive it and I don't like it. So I need to fix that after I get back. But those are the things that are wrong with the cars of now and I'm gonna wash the car, but I'm gonna save that for later on today. But let me go ahead and start this thing up, put some heat in the engine and get on the road. I ended up not being able to go to Firestone this morning because their tire mounting machine was broken for my size tire even though I don't think a 10 inch tire is that big but to some people I guess it's that big. So we went to this place called uh, Tire Choice. I don't know if you can see that but Tire Choice trying them out for the first time. Hopefully they don't scratch my rim up, damage it or anything else because they're going to be mounting and balancing basically three tires and I'm taking a chance with this one, Kia. Yeah. I'm taking a chance with Man it. couldn't even move his car. He had the oh, yeah. <laughs> move his own car. I just had to go move my own car. But, uh, like I said, hopefully from that point on, like, it'll be straight. But we're about to go get something to eat, probably. But I know we're going to get some coffee. So I'll see y'all at the coffee break. Just finished this up, car parked over here, looking real good with the new wheel in the front, but back tires, uh, I think it looked pretty good. I'm going to show you more whenever I get home. Uh, and for the longest, my car has not been balanced and hopefully 
it's balanced now. I won't have to worry about anything. Won't have to worry about any cracked rim. I need to drive a little bit more safely so I won't crack my rim again, but it's not nothing, it's nothing. But now I'm about to head back home and I might wait for a little bit because the sun is starting to come out. It's kind of hot outside. I don't have any shade at my house, but I do need to fix this bumper of mine. So I don't know, it depends. I'll let y'all know whenever I get there. My car was still shaking on the road a little bit. And I, at this point, I don't think it was the balancing of the tires. I don't think it's the alignment or anything. I do think I may have a bent A-arm or a bent tie rod, bent something under there because I've gotten a couple of alignments and a couple of different balances and it all turns out to be the same thing. But I'm not gonna worry about that anymore right now. I'm about to go ahead and try to fix this bumper and the guy who took it off the machine from balancing my tires, he actually went on ahead and tore the whole thing off. So this is what I'm gonna be trying to do, trying to epoxy this thing back to the bumper. This is the bracket that's under there. And this was actually, look at this. It was all on top of my headlight. So I'm gonna figure out a way on how to put that back on but in the meantime, I'm going to take the bumper off and see what all I have to do. I don't know whose bright idea it was to let me wear a white shirt out here and get on this ground and get all dirty and stuff, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is I actually lost a whole bracket that connected to the bumper right here. And you can see it on this side, it's still connected. And this is actually what connects to right here and this part to keep the bumper secured. But this side, yeah, it uh, doesn't have anything right there. And this is what tore, tore off. I need to get this off of here, actually. Wait, can I just pull this off? I don't wanna break it any more than it already is, but yeah, there it is. This needs to get glued back onto the bumper right here. So this may be all I can do, is just make sure this is epoxied back on and once I do that, uh, I'm gonna let it cure for about a couple hours or so before I try to put the bumper back on here. And hopefully that'll be able to hold it up until I can finally give me a new bumper. Cause I need a new bumper anyways. Look at the shape of this thing. A lot of it is bugs and whatnot, but look at the paint, bro. Just look at the paint. Yeah, the bumper came out uh, semi good. It's still a little gap right here and it looks kind of funky in there. But like I said, this is a little quick DIY fix. I will be getting another bumper sooner or later, but this is just to hold me for the meantime. This side right here, it actually pokes out a little bit. Like y'all probably can't see that, but it does poke out just a little bit. Man, that wheel though. I'm not even gonna stunt. I was getting tired of the look at these wheels, but with the new bigger profile tires that I have in the back, it does complement it quite nicely. Man, I like that, I'm not even gonna stunt. The wheel gap is not there as much as it was, and this should be perfect. And by the way, if y'all can't tell, wait, if y'all can't tell, this is the next day, and this is where I'm gonna end today's video. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down in the section below if you learned anything about the car. If you want to see anything dealing with the Genesis platform, I will try to make those videos for y'all. But 
like I said, this would wrap up today's video. So always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank you all for watching.